We're now joined on the phone by a lot of things here. ZPAC Girls Coach of the Year. He's back-to-back sectional and regional championship winning head coach of the Spring Mills Lady Cardinals, George Gosk. How are you doing today, Coach Gosk? Doing great, fellas. Uh, you know, excited about last night and excited for the state tournament. And, you know, looking back at your game last night, uh, it was a 53-30 to victory over Jefferson. And you told us kind of all season long that Jefferson has been the team that's kind of given your team fits throughout the EPAC. Yeah, um, you know, last night was, uh, you know, the same thing like we expected. You know, um, Olivia Hedrick inside there gives you know, anybody, really, they play a fit. And I know they, they like to pound the ball inside to her against us, you know, with our size and, and they did that last night, and, and for a bit in the first half, um, you know, we struggled to score. So, you know, it was a it was a, it was a good game in the first half, and we weren't able to pull away until the third fourth quarter. What do you think allowed your team to pull away and, and close out the regional and get the win? Yeah, so I think for the turn for us in the second half, I think we went into the half with a, about a ten point lead, and um, you know, for us to be able to pull away in the second half, I think our our defensive effort. Uh, posted up a little bit better, and we were able to get some steals and transition buckets, and uh, you know that helped put bump the lead up a little bit. And and uh, pressing forward, Jefferson, we we spread them out. Uh, they had to come out and guard us, man, and and that that for us sealed the deal. And another regional championship for your team. Now you get to head back to the state tournament just talk about kind of a little bit of a almost local dynasty that you've been able to create there at spring mills well yeah um you know when i first took this job um they had a really good girls program for the first two seasons and you know i walked into a good situation and i've just been able to maintain that and actually you know these past couple years build to keep building it further and you know i think you just got to stay humble um you know make sure the kids stay humble and, uh, you know, we want to have a shot here at the state tournament to keep advancing our program forward, and that's, you know, hopefully able to win the whole thing. Back to the last night's game, the Edsel sisters combined for 29 points, 13 steals. Uh, Reagan Edsel has 10 rebounds, another double-double for her in a game. Uh, what have those two sisters meant to your team this year? Yeah, wow, those two, um, they feed off each other uh, all year, and, you um, you know, I think Corinne, she she's has been more comfortable this year playing with her younger sister, and I think vice versa as well. Um, Reagan, I think a lot of her success, you know, she's comfortable where she's at. She she has played with a lot of these girls before, and so she just kind of fit right in. We plugged her right in, and she's done a great job. Um, you know, Corinne last night she stepped up big time. She's um, she needed that game last night, and, and Reagan with another double double. I mean, what do you say about those two? Any any coach would love to have a sister duo like that. And coach, your team is still uh, very young as you head into the state tournament. Uh, last year, you got some experience of playing in the state tournament. Um, how do you take that experience and, and go on a run this year uh, with this group? Yeah, so, um, you know, the, the main eight kids that, that we play in our games, you know, we're going to roster 13, but the main eight, nine kids that we've played, they actually, you know, other than Reagan, they have stepped foot on the floor at the state tournament last year. And so, you know, I think that is going to give us a little comfort in the fact that they've been there, they've experienced that. Um, you know, and I, I think, like, Reagan's, she's the only one, you know, who hasn't really played there And so I, but with her, I'm not worried about that. I think she's going to step right into that. And, you know, I look for us to compete. I don't want to make it so much about, hey, you know, we're at the state tournament. You can get caught up in the glitz and glamour of it. But, you know, we're down there now and and we've been there before. and, And, you know, we want to get that first game under our belt and see what happens after that. First game, uh, pitch you guys as the five seed against the four seed, being the only undefeated team, though, in quad A. Is there any disrespect felt being the five seed? Or are you not too worried about that because you know ultimately, hopefully, that your team's the best team no matter what? Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good point you just made. Um, you know, I don't think we feel disrespected. Obviously, you know, you want to get a higher seed, you know, because that might help you a little bit. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to play the best teams out at the state tournament. And, and you know, if you're going to play in that championship game, you're going to you're going to see the best team no matter what. So, you know, let's go ahead and, and knock out, you know, one of the best teams early. And, and that's, you know, Cabell Midland all year has been up there in the top five. So, 
Um, you know, we figure we might get the four or five seed. So I think the four and five seed becomes kind of the same seed because they're going to match up against each other. It's just the difference of, uh, you know, the color jersey. Um, so we're looking forward to that matchup. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to compete and give them a heck of a game. And what do the travel plans look like with your game set for Tuesday at 9 p.m.? When do you guys head out, and are you going to take a practice at a, at a school somewhere? Yeah, so we're uh, we're going to look to head down Monday morning, and you know when we arrive in Charleston, we're we're going to head to West Virginia State University, and we'll have a practice there. Um, you know, it's nice uh, for us. I like I like that nine o'clock game at night. You know, with the travel day on Monday, it, it will give us some time to to rest and get our feet under us on Tuesday. We'll probably have a, a shoot around or Tuesday morning, you know, get the kids up, get them moving, get them shooting around a little bit, talk a little bit of strategy, finish up, wrap it up, you know, eat some dinner, rest back at the hotel and then head to the Civic Center for we'll probably go ahead and catch the game before ours. And then, you know, it'll be game time at nine. Coach, do you know anything about uh, Cabell Midland and uh, what I guess early on are you looking at to try to get the win? Yeah, I know, uh, you know, Cabell Midland's a diverse team and what they can do offensively and defensively. Um, you know, I was watching a little bit of film from them last night. Um, this, they got this Jade Ali girl, and, uh, you know, she looks like a prime player for them, can score the basketball pretty well. Um, you know, they have, I think they have solid guard play. They can shoot it. And they, have, they have a couple bigs down low. Um, no bigs like Livia Hedrick or, uh, or um, you know, the girl from Martinsburg. Um, so I, I think we've been tested there, so I think we'll be okay with that. But I think we just we just need to do what we've done all year, um, you know, and, and that's play defense and, and give a heck of a defensive effort. And, and I think everything else will fall into place for us, hopefully. In a tournament setting, what do you preach to your team that they need to do to make a run in win states? Yeah, so, you know, a couple – uh, times this year we've played back-to-back -back games. We had one week where, man, we were loaded up with games. We played four games in like five nights or something, six nights. And so, you know, for us, for us, and and at the state tournament, it it really becomes you got to get the first game under your belt, and then, you know, the next the next two games, they become strategic, and and you're going to have a day off in between games for us, and so. If you're able to win the first one, that day off becomes important. How you prepare physically and mentally on your day off for the next game and your opponent. So, once you get the first one, um, I think your confidence level obviously it goes up tremendously, and anything can happen at that point, no matter what seed you are. Um, you know, I was lucky to be a part of Hedgesville's team back in 2012 on the boys' side of it, and we won the state tournament as a seven seed. And, uh, you know, I can just remember Coach Church talking about, you know, how any, anything can happen at any given time. You're at the state tournament. So it doesn't matter what seed you are. Just go out there and give anybody a heck of a game. Coach Goss, thanks for the time. Best of luck on Tuesday. Hope we're talking Wednesday about a win and moving on to the next round. Certainly. Thank you so much, guys.